Hello everyone, this is a Grey Shot 117 bringing you another episode of Civilization V Red, Red World War II Mod Revived. I am playing as Italy and I'm currently doing my favorite sport of bombing Soviet forces out in the middle of the open terrain. Seriously, it doesn't get old. I've been doing this for like the past five episodes, but I've just been destroying the Soviets in this region and it's great. I've gone unopposed, I've cleared units left and right. Their air force is busy fighting the Germans, which is great because that's kind of leaving my bombers to keep getting veterancy and just getting more and more powerful. But yes, uh, oh shoot, they've actually kind of cut my units off. Or have they? Okay, I do need to worry about that tank unit. Oh wait, do I? No, I have my attack bombers who specialize in killing tanks. Yeah, but anyway, so this World War II is different from normal World War II. If you've just started watching now um, the Soviet Union has actually lasted pretty long but on the flip side the Italians are now the ones leading the charge into the Soviet Union yeah I know it's it's weird but heck it, it it's one of those it's one of those things where you, it, it's weird and then it, you get used to it you, you seriously do um, let's send over the tank destroyer over there because that's where I, I guess I kind of need that tank um, let's have these guys just keep opening fire on these AA guns and meanwhile, our infantry can just focus on taking uh, Kharkov. Meanwhile, our additional infantry moving toward Kursk. Slowly but surely, and pushing that infantry back around it. Once the infantry done here, we'll push over here, and then eventually to Stalingrad. Because, once again, the, a lot of these cities are really low rank. Meanwhile, our Middle Eastern forces are doing a bang-up... Oh, shit. <laughs> well, they were doing a bang-up job until I misdirected them. Oh, well, I can just have my Air Force take out that unit. There we go. Anyway, they're doing a great job of just pushing the Soviets back in that region into Tehran. Unfortunately, Tehran will most likely fall to enemy forces very soon, but I'm not too worried. There we go. Retook that area. Continue to push them back. Meanwhile, we can actually push on up in this region. Oh, these guys can't move. No matter. They'll just hold that region while we slowly push up and just open fire. On that part. Oh my god, they're actually allowing me to move in the reams. How kind of them. And before... <clears throat> excuse me, before you say gray shot, you're keeping the line open. Hold on, give me a minute. If I can just clear up some of these lighter forces, should be to doing totally fine. Now, I don't want to move up my tanks just yet on that front. Let's kind of weaken those guys down. Hmm. There we go. Maybe have them try to pour in. If so, th open terrain, even better for me. Very close for that unit to die. Perfect. Let's move up the infantry to kind of reinforce the front a little bit. We have all sorts of infantry kind of moving on in to kind of reinforce. And I'll just plug in the holes on that front. Meanwhile, on the left hands, El Tours. Let me put on production. Let's get wealth. I pretty much just going wealth so I can just buy new units left and right. So Operation Torch is now a thing. Oh boy, got some units over here. British infantry, which in term is really just American infantry. Which is to be expected. There we go. Knocked out that unit pretty quick. So with that one, oh, is that Katusha? Mobile artillery. Yeah, I wonder why that would be very easy to kill. Go figure. Pushing those guys back. Lawal should be mine. There we go. Move up the infantry to counter. Move up the tank. To kind of help clear this area. There we go. Caught the supply line and the chain. Allowing at least for me to capture that city. Meanwhile, let's keep keep hanging this city of Kharkov. Try to knock that out. But yeah, as you can see, we're slowly, slowly advancing into these cities. Oh, come on. Take Rasta. Oh, so close. What did we lose? Mole House was captured. Well, we got it back, so that's not a big deal. Uh, yeah, these are American forces. absolutely. freaking -lily. You can see the American flag. Like, I'm not, I'm not falling for it. Unfortunately, though, we don't really have a project we have to, we're working on. So that is a major concern, is that they, they could technically out-tech us, 
eventually, and it could be like a China situation, where unfortunately we're fighting better units and just slowly whittling them down. <clears throat> Though it doesn't seem to be a major problem, as I've been doing a pretty damn good job of just overwhelming a lot of these forces. I do need additional armor on the right. That is a concern I do have. Oh. But with the amount of income I am currently generating, I'm not too worried. Oh, uh, let's add to Q. You can build yourself a new tank. Yeah, let's uh, delete all that. Wait, why am I building a barracks? At the oh, I, you know what? I probably just went straight down. There we go. Yeah, you guys just switch to wealth when you're done. Because you don't have the production, really. Same thing with you. I can use the broadcast tower because you've been busy working on that. But overall, I could definitely use more units. Or just money in general. Again, so I can slowly build tanks and just kind of keep reinforcing the front. But once again, I'm not too worried at all. Right now, I'm doing pretty damn well on my offensives. And actually, I've been managed to push back the enemy on multiple fronts. Like such. Actually, can I break this guy? Oh, perfect. He's broken there. And now I just need infantry to kind of move on in and hold the front. Whatever. Move infantry into the open front. I dare you. Let's see. We got British Convoy of Oil. Let's make sure that doesn't get to port. My submarines, if you haven't... If you, if you can't tell, I've been doing a great job of just wrecking a lot of the supply lines and everything else coming in. Oh, here we go. There's some more supplies. I want to take out. Oh, and you can fire again. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, we're not letting them get any of these units. Sure, you can get that material, but no no additional armor for you. And with us kind of here, we'll just continue to knock out a lot of these ports. And a lot of these, um, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of these additional forces that kind of try to come in to kind of reinforce this position. With our naval forces there, knocking out those units, should be pretty damn easy. Meanwhile, let's knock out this unit that decided to move on in to try to land itself. Yeah, that's not ha that's not happening anytime soon. Not while I'm here. Though they did land a ton of men, so I'm definitely going to need to actually send additional men down to Africa to kind of make sure that they don't take anything else. Though they're still exceptionally weak. And it's not like my supply lines are being like cut by a huge amount. All right, let's deal with those two infantry units while they're surrounded. And we'll have the tank move on up and kind of start pounding them. Oh, 10 damage. Let's see. We have some light tanks moving on in. But yeah, time to buy some ad ad tanks and kind of send them down south. We can kind of hold this region, but luckily we have the city. So they are being heavily attritioned. So we can kind of just keep pounding them and... Hopefully, that's all the units will send. So we can kind of keep dealing with that. Let's see. Can't move that. Right, right, right. Uh, just interception duty, if you do not mind. Uh, land units. Holding. And just hold. Hold. Uh, you just hold there. And same thing with you. And you. And you can move up. Hold. Let's see. You just continue to hold against all of that. And kind of move you up against that since you can kind of hold off that armor. Those guys are losing some steam, so we're probably going to have to have them rest for a moment in the Middle East. But overall, at least we are, once again, advancing in that region. Kind of surprising me, honestly. <laughs> These guys are very close to dying. Those guys as well. These guys are very close to breaking. If I, I swear I think they're going to break. Actually, let's send the... There we go. They did finally break. We can move that there to cover the line. Meanwhile, we can just send our field gun open fire along with our tank destroyer. Move up our additional armor. Take that unit out and just have our tank hit that infantry. Boom! St. Nazaire is once again in my range to, to finally take out. 
Mechanized infantry just being slowly neutralized. And we got everything done. Let's see what the British and French have in store. It looks like they've finally just given up in France and reinforcing. Or maybe they just run out of men. And Operation Torch was their like last effort to like open up territory. But also it kind of opens up one thing. If Operation Torch is mostly a British event. For them to kind of liberate that area. I wonder if because I have so many forces there that that's just... That, that me will that will stop any additional events from occurring, and I wonder if there's any alternate history events that Italy will get because I am currently winning this war. For the most part, Ex the only thing that are currently off from this war that is Norway is not under my control. France is a battleground, and Soviet Union is half dead, and then that's all negatives, because um, Soviet Union should probably be further pushed back. On the plus side, I have the Middle East and most of North Africa under my control. So, I guess that's a positive. Or more of a positive. Let's see. Enemy tanks are taking some damage. They are pushing up on Reims and a few other places. But once again, th these forces are slowly being dealt with. So, I can move up a lot of these men kind of to help up on the front. Uh, German forces seem to be pushing in as well. Hopefully, they can take Metz. And overall, I should take Kane in the next couple of turns, which should split up my men and allow actually kind of a reinforcement line where I have more men than I have on the front. So in that terms, I can slowly kind of cycle through men that are lower health and not have them just weakened to a point where they can, they're can they exhausted and they can no longer push on up. Because that's really the point where I'm having a lot of major issues. But we'll see how things go. Right now, I'm pretty confident that we'll be able to keep holding Paris, take Reims and Metz, and keep pushing the British back in this region, and slowly but surely take these remaining cities um, just through sheer firepower. We are reinforcing a lot of infantry, so we can kind of cycle them out. So, once again, not too worried. Trade route established. Once again, more supply lines and cargo being unloaded. We'll once again send additional armor down south because this is the biggest point of contention right now. Oh, okay, if you can survive 14 turns, I could use the tank. Tunis, can you actually build something? Nope, not anytime, not anytime soon. All right, that's fine. We have a new destroyer we can actually send over. Awesome. So I need you to go up all the way north. Go all the way up there. All right, meanwhile, let's send these guys forward. Kind of try to reinforce. There we go. Try to push back that howitzer. We can actually push them to that choke point. That would be exceptionally helpful because, again, that's the Turkish border. There's no war there. So as long as there's no war there, I'm fine to keep advancing and use that to my advantage. Fortunately, looks like Tyron is probably going to fall. God damn it. I'm trying. Wow, I, I am actually still pushing up. Which is something I didn't think I would see. Let's see. I mean, hold on, how much would the... Alright, we'll push that baby up. There we go, more damage done. These guys are laying the charge. Once again, every time I feel like they, or they feel like, oh my god, we have them on the ropes, I just turn the tide and like, nope, sorry, not gonna happen. There we go, a little more damage on that guy. Let's get a new tank up and running, which we can actually immediately send to the front. Uh, we'll send that over here because I feel like this is the area where we can probably do the most damage. We have a tank still there, but I mean infantry over there. But we should be able to take the city. Oh, so close to taking the city. So very close. Meanwhile, we still got an anti-air gun that doesn't want to keel over and die. Very close, very close to though. They do have fighter station there, so it looks like they might be trying to counteract my air force now. I mean, good attempt, but not going to work. Meanwhile, where's this lower... Actually, hold on. Can we move up? There we go. Easily knocked out that unit. 
Field gun on standby with additional infantry to slowly push them back. Can we move up infantry, kind of just prepare to hold the line in a lot of these sectors. But actually, can we move up this infantry to hold that? Yeah, perfect. Field gun. Oh, so close. There we go. That's neutralized. We have armor. We can kind of start hitting that stuff. Infantry can kind of push those guys back. Just finally clean up that mess and then... There we go. We got a stable line. And we can pretty much keep just picking them off little by little. Infantry can kind of move in to kind of cover that gap. And is there any other area that we're kind of low on? I don't think so. I think this new wave of infantry is actually going to do a lot. To kind of just make sure that overall I'm pretty secure. Let's keep interception going for the most part. We have a new fighter bomber. Oh, that's going to be helpful. Over here... Um, at least I think it will. So I can at least start doing a lot of shots in that region to kind of help clear that. Alright, let's uh, continue to push and finally start hurting Kursk. There's the mech... Oh, shoot. Wait, there's the mechanized infantry. Let's have my fighter bombers deal with that, shall we? Oh, shoot. They actually got any reception detail. Oh, no. Luckily, again, I upgrade my guys for a while, so they're good for ca canceling the intercept. And it doesn't look like they have enough because my bombers are still getting through. And, honestly, ma managing to push him back, even with less men. Let's see, with these guys, pretty much all and everything under wraps, let's have our armor just kind of clear that infantry unit move our armor to kind of clear that if at all possible and then move up our infantry into the city with field guns also moving up those units will be surrounded hopefully the hungarians can knock them out let's take out that so the supply lines recut uh recentered have our armor move there stug open fire on that position is that a light tank destroyer yes it is so actually not let's not hit there Let's, let's nod. <laughs> that unit's close to taking out. The Germans are still holding the line pretty effectively. And now comes for the bombardment time. Because they cannot reinforce and are surrounded. So I can just start picking them off one by... Oh my god, are you serious? Casablanca is being attacked. Well, good thing I did take out these cities, because then at least they wouldn't be reinforced as much as they are. At least they won't be able... Sorry, they won't reinforce the men. I should probably have make clear and concise statements. <laughs> Otherwise, you're like, what? Alright, let's move up the field gun over here. Open fire on that infantry and slowly try to push them back. Tank destroyer can move up to this position so we can knock out those tanks. Tank destroyer move on up. Wounded units. Infantry just hold the line for the moment along with the armor. I kind of want to switch out some infantry there, but we don't exactly have any to switch out. And I kind of want to produce an armor unit, so I won't make that just yet. Choose production. Where can, what can you make? Nothing immediately. So you just go for making that immediate stuff. Man, a lot more interceptions. That's going to cause some issues. Or not. Or I just plow right on through and continue to annihilate this armor. Ah, so close. So very close to killing it. Meanwhile, again, supply lines once again. Uh, Charles de Gaulle, very low on overall material and everything. Germany doing decently better, so hopefully they got their things straightened out. Stalin, battle material, but good on fuel. Let's get a land factory going so we can quickly get more material and everything going. And now, we can just have, once again, our navy just open fire on the water. Because, again, they can as long as I'm doing damage to them, they can't reinforce. So it helps me out a ton. Oh, wait, no, these guys can reinforce. They took over that city. God damn it. <laughs> Uh, these guys will have a harder time reinforcing. And if we quickly knock out those guys, hopefully. Uh, meanwhile, let's double check everything with our subs. 
Yeah, that's not that that's not going anywhere. Hello. Yeah, your oil's not going. Sorry. Not allowed. And then we'll have our ship. I kind of want to send the submarine down there real quick. How quickly would they get be able to get down there? It'll take multiple turns. All right, let's double check to see if we have any more supplies in the region. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, I don't see any major supply lines or supplies coming in. Oh, well, if they send anything else, we'll take care of it just like we did with the rest. Mall house, let's get more oil. We have 500 per turn. We're going to make so many units. It's going to be great. Meanwhile, let's continue to hold there. Take out some additional forces. Again, right now it's just money. Money, money, money. I need to get as much money as possible. All right, blitz. Oh, hello. I can blitz through and take out those units. Kind of reinforce this line with the additional infantry. That would be helpful. Just hold. Um, you guys can need to put pressure over on this region. But hold. Wait, can you? Can you do damage against that anti-aircraft gun? Yes, you can. But now you guys are surrounded. And they haven't... Oh, shoot. I need to move men in there now. And I don't have anything to move in. Shit. Um, hmm. This could be an issue. Or I could just weaken down that unit enough so I can connect it. Yeah, we'll see what they do. If they move up, I can easily surround that unit along the coast. So it's not too bad. Get a small minor victory there. Uh, overall, there's not really a good place. We'll hold because you're kind of still in the middle. And yeah, I feel like we're doing pretty damn well for ourselves. Wait, can I move this sucker up? No, I can't. Not yet. Also, can't move that. I can do a promotion. Let's make sure. Oh, shoot. Should have probably had better against the infantry. And I'm thinking of sort sided with all the vehicles, I mean, all the cities I need to kill. Alrighty, so let's see how that turn went. There was a small technical glitch, so I probably got to skip through some most of it, but whatever the case may be. Oh boy, they're really, they're really bringing up that air force. Oh well, my bombers can still deliver that awesome payload that you want. What is it, the Yak? Oh, the Yak-7, okay. It's probably because I'm pushing so far into their territory that I'm actually starting to knock out those fighters. Most of them are over still in Germany, which is good. As long as they're over there, I will continue to keep bombing all of their units. Just, just all of them. Every single last one of them. Let's see. We'll move the tank destroyer over in this region. Help against that thing. Because, uh, yeah, that T-34 is going to be quite annoying. Let's see. Let's just hit it with some artillery and just leave it there. Overall, yeah, let's make some more infantry. Kind of reinforce the front. Actually, we can kind of send infantry down south uh, to help out. Let's send that ship over. Along with our nice little destroyer to open fire. They're retaking all the cities that I took over. God damn it. Okay, good news. So it looks... Oh, shit. They're still getting more. They're getting armor this time. My God, they're just so annoying. Okay, no problem. We'll just surround them. You continue to hold. Alright, we have another convoy? Any others, maybe? I don't see any. What's this one? Oil. Yeah, we're... Oh, hello. What's this one? More oil. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're dealing with that. We're slowly going to push south with all these. And I'm just going to, like, get to the point where I'm just... I'm, I'm literally just going to start having my submarines go back down and check that entire area. Because I cannot keep having them... I, 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 I can't keep having them land this many forces. This is insane. 
Yeah, it's oil. Don't care. Actually, can I move over any over the? Can I move over any of my destroyers? See how many there are. Okay, they just keep calling them in. So let's actually start causing damage to some of them if I can. Let's see. This guy, I can move over one, and I can move this person over to help against that uh, cruiser. Do a little bit of damage there. They're gonna hit all my cities after I just took them. God damn, they're trying to cut me off. Okay, no problem. I can just simply go to Tunis, go to Purchase, and buy my awesome tank and move it back over. So that way you can go fight the battle that I needed to and win. Oh, look, they're trying to surround me. Oh, that's that's so terrible. Oh, no, what am I supposed to do? And and just just give me a minute. Uh, first of all, this tank push on that force back. Then one for my second tank. Move in and probably move in here. Surround them. Just overwhelm these guys a little bit. Uh, we'll move the Stug. Is that a tank destroyer? Oh, light tank. Infantry to push there. We'll have our light tank destroyer hit that along with that as well. Let's move that unit back. And then we'll move the tank over. Resupply that line. Howitzer open fire there. We'll have infantry open fire on that. Wounded unit. And a Stug open fire over there. I think that's everybody. Nope. Field gun open fire. And let's also open fire on that poor unit. That decided to be like, hey, yeah, let's move on in. Yeah, that's not going to work. Let's do a double attack. Get that thing boosted up. Hold the line. Where are you? Oh, we got new armor in Athens. Awesome. We need to send you out. All right. We got, we'll get a new tank. Man, we're just deploying these suckers. Okay, how long would it take you to get over here? Eight turns. Yeah, we're going to need it. <laughs> we're we're going to need you over there. All right, you're taking too long. We're just going to put you on money. Money, money, money. And then we'll have our attack bombers move in and clear that unit. And then focus on that armor because that thing is definitely going to give us a headache if we don't try to reduce its health immediately. There we go. That works a lot. Uh, meanwhile, we have all these forces. Let's try to just send that tank to deal with this little guy. Hopefully coax him out into the open. Um, you can... Wow, we actually have Hungarians moving in. Awesome. They're trying to help me out. And push them back. Move this guy back. Let's have our Stug and everything open fire on that guy. Infantry, move on in. Can we try to neutralize that unit? So very close. So very close to being neutralized. Let's move up some infantry out of this little area. We have a light tank destroyer, but they don't really have any... Oh, hello. Yes, they do. Move it here for the time being. We'll switch out the... How about this? We'll switch the infantry out with the armor. That way they can hit reams. Very close to neutralizing that unit. They didn't push up. That's their mistake. Because now I can break through on that part. Move up infantry to... Wait, move up armor? Yes, move up armor to take that point. And infantry to move up to clear that with additional infantry. Aw, oh, damn it. Uh, with, with, with additional infantry unable to move. It's the perfect strategy. No, what I'll do, do is have just try to clear this area up and try to break them. Again, not overextending, not pushing too much. Oh, actually, I will push too much. Ah, oh, so that once that unit breaks, because they can't really re they retreat it. Oh, it'd be so nice. It'd be so nice. Oh, nope. Come on, hit that city. Caden will fall shortly. Now that area is clear. And that area is clear, and now I can just take Caden, split up my men, deal with the remaining, take Schalberg, and slowly push the French out of this coastal area. Beautiful. Rabat, I could definitely use a factory, but it looks like I need a, build a broadcast tower for the meantime. Oh boy, I'll, I, I, I need anything I can get over here. I'll take additional infantry, anything. It's not too bad. It could be a lot worse, but... 
it's 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 definitely it's it's a situation it's definitely a annoying situation but at least we got raw stuff so the so at least once again i can say in all doubts victory in the mediterranean <laughs> And then watch, the goddamn Russians will launch an assault and do something to clear it. Meanwhile, we can move up our armor. And just clear this territory for the infantry to move on up. Meanwhile, we can have our infantry hit Kursk. Do a bit of damage to take it over. We'll at least have one Soviet city down next turn and maybe another in Krakow. If I can kind of focus my infantry and artillery over there. Hold on. Speaking of which, let's send it over. Well, we have our tank and infantry kind of move on up. There we go. Let's hold in the forest area so we have at least key advantage. All right. We have the Stug over here. Um, Yeah, I want you to an annihilate that unit. <laughs> Going to be honest. Knock out these random units over here. You move up and continue to push them back. Looks like we pushed back a howitzer. You hold for the time being. We can actually, holy cow, we actually continue to push you guys back all the way to Brest. If we can do that, I can just, oh, it would be so nice. Let's move up the field gun up here so we can start hitting that damn city. And have our tanks just open fire on this random infantry. We'll hold out that infantry until we get the field guns in. Otherwise, we are doing pretty damn well for ourselves. Well, except for the part of all the infantry and everything moving on in. But hey, you win some, you, you, you lose some. Shoot, I forgot they kind of reconnected that. Okay, no problem. Just start hurting them. And when I thought the African front would calm down, no, it heats back up. But the good news is, now I can just keep one ship here, just in case for naval bombardment, and the other ship I can send back over here. So, field gun, open fire. Sl very close to breaking a lot of those units right there. Uh, actually, we'll move the battleship over here. I feel like that would be way more effective. Or I can move both. Because really, there's not much they're going to send there. And we'll hit next turn. I'm really curious to see what the French and British are up to. I don't think they would pull any sneaky tactics, but I, I, I feel like they would. I feel like they're going to try something. But I have this area under control. Cher I mean, technically wants to take Hayden. I can use the artillery to take Cherbourg and then St. Nazaire. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Let's see. And then most of these units are just breaking apart and falling back to Dunkirk, which would be the one accurate thing. Germans are pushing the Brussels, which would be incredible if they somehow took that. Oh, good. They took Metz. So that's taken over or, like, fully reinforced. These units are surrounded. We can deal with them. These units are very close. We can deal with them shortly. The Soviets are now pressing. Kind of interested to see how that goes. Uh, Soviet push, they took back Stettin, but most of their line is falling back. Germans are pushing up, maybe can take Pozan. Yeah, it looks like the Germans have managed to... Remember that when the armor was at the gates of Berlin? Remember, remember how th that situation was occurring? Well, now it looks like we're actually counterattacking. Though they still have most of the, the north under their control and blockading it. So that is a key issue. But goddamn, it's uh, pretty damn effective. Like I'm, I'm, at least I finally broken through, overwhelming a lot of their forces and finally taking some, uh, some major cities. How many? What are the French cities I need to take again? I think they're, Char I think Kane is one of them. I want to say if I could take that next turn, that'd be kind of helpful. Help that little tick counter go up one more. That'd be so nice. It's pr I'm probably not gonna be able to finish that at 20 because I still have to, I was like, oh, you know what? I'll send the forces up. I can then invade UK. Should be an easier thing. It's like no, no, God no. They just more and more stuff keeps happening, and then I keep being delayed more and more. It's the one step forward, two steps back mo like m motive that I just keep running into. Unit promoted. Awesome. 
Am I about to lose more cities in North Africa? Absolutely. Are they still landing all their troops down here? Yeah, but now I'm going to blow them up. Can I purchase? No, I, because none of them have fact or like... Yeah, none of them have the, uh, the, was it, the, I can't think of the name. I can't think of the stupid freaking name. Oh, my God. None of them have the, uh, dang it, except for Tunis. Yeah, I can build a tank, but none of them would really work out. Let me, uh, let me just wait for the armor. Field gun open fire. Let's chase down that armor. Seriously, let's chase it down. Meanwhile, this light tank will can go after that. Stu can open fire with the infantry as well. Let's go after that piece of infantry. Take that unit out. Give chase. Have the infantry cut that unit off. Once again, cut that off and actually cut a lot of units off over here from an escape route. Have my bomber begin bombarding that tank. Can we actually kill it? Oh, so very close. Oh, so very, very close. Howitzer opened fire. Managed to break them up a little bit. There we go. Overall, we're still put advancing. I don't know if we're going to be able to... Oh, shoot. If you guys would be so kind and leave this city that I just took, that would be great. <laughs> um, let's... Yeah, we need additional armor. And I need to send it down south immediately. Okay, bombers. Let's neutralize these guys real qu That armor real quick. And then... I guarantee you they have nothing there. Let's just open... F All bombers just hit those guys in the open tundra. Okay, it's really... No it's just planes, but seriously... I will need to send more men in this region. But hey, at least that's one unit that's pretty much been neutralized. <laughs> Meanwhile, let's finally deal with this city, shall we? Oh, we'll deal with that next turn. I'm not worried about it. Wow, they have more howitzers moving in? Hate to break it to you, man, but you're about to lose them. Is this a light tank destroyer? Yes, it is. I can do damage to that while hitting the city. Meanwhile, I can tell these bombers to continue to just hit the heck out of that tank, which is what exactly? Yep, T-34. That's what I recall. So close to dying. With the howitzer gun over here. And now we have all this that we can move up. Uh, let's see. Let's move over the infantry and everything over a while. Let's try to keep killing that unit if all possible. Actually, let's quickly kill that and then move back to the front. Let's hold the rest of that armor until I can do a further push. Oh, I can definitely kill that unit. And I can push that one back. Uh, yeah, we're, we're pushing that one back. Yeah, you're, you're both really weak, so we're just going to hold there for the time being. Can I... How much health? Five. Finally, I defeat that unit. And now I can kind of surround that, if at all possible. Actually, can I... Nope, I can't move there. Actually, I could move the tank there, and then... There we go. Move on up. They are now surrounded. Works for me. Meanwhile, we have additional infantry. We're gonna send we're gonna send you down here and then you're gonna go on a boat. And from there, you are gonna go down to the Battle of North Africa. Because I thought we had this battle situated, but apparently no. Apparently I was dead wrong. But we should be able to buy some more tanks down there. So I'm not too worried about how everything goes. Oh, can we actually... Hold on. Can, let's let's deal with this city if we can. Oh, thank God. 
And we're now up to five. It was one of the last ones. Light tank. Uh, let's move it up here. You can move here just to make sure we can kind of hold the line. At least cause the damage if he attacks. And now with that, we can, all these forces can be split to here Cherberg and plug up the line over here. Speaking of plugging up the line, we still have all this to deal with. Uh, Stug, if you don't mind opening fire and just blasting them off that little choke point. Let's continue to push on up. Hold on. Can I move this tank just straight up? Yes, I can. And I feel like that's not going to take all that much. So we're just going to use the guns and everything to hit that infantry and just keep pushing forward. Like I said, just keep pushing forward. As stated, just keep pushing forward. I would say that's a decent push on, in every regard. Uh, Mets, yeah, you get. Unfortunately, Mets is still under control, but I feel like the Germans will swoop in and take that out. Hopefully, hopefully, and then we just have this little pocket over here we can deal with, and then this little pocket, and then otherwise it's again reverse Dunkirk. That's that's exactly what it is. It's reverse Dunkirk. That's what I'm dealing with right now, people. Reverse Dunkirk. Let me deal with that poor little French cruiser trying to keep naval supremacy in the region. Oh, I could push up, but I need to kill these guys so quickly. Uh, speaking of... Oh, no. You are not landing. No way. No how. Uh-uh. No way. That's not happening. I give him credit for trying. Can anyone else... There we go. Finally. Okay, you deal with that. I just want to see if there's anything else down here. There is one light tank that we can deal with next turn. And I will deal with next turn. You guys just check the coastline. Make sure there's no more supplies. It doesn't look like it. It looks like the last one was shipped off. So thank Christ I don't have to deal with that. And meanwhile, you can just move up the battleship to blockade the port. And just start pounding that battleship so they can no longer get supplies in. Meanwhile, just hold. Uh, once again, these guys are, are still cut off. So I, if I can quickly have these guys just deal as much damage as possible to them, I should be okay. Oh, there we go. Now that unit's surrounded. Works for me. Because now I can just light that sucker up and hopefully push him back. And their invasion force is currently being bombed. I don't know how they instantly took that area back. That's kind of annoying that they just got that piece of land back. But whatever. Very close to knocking out that unit. So very close. Hold, hold, and a thousand. So we will buy another tank for this for the southern region down here as soon as possible to kind of hold this entire area from pretty much falling apart. But otherwise, we should have enough time for one more turn in this episode, and we'll be good. I don't care if it's one damage. I'll take anything. Oh wait, no, we are not. You are not working on that. You're going the wealth. Arsenal, yeah, you're just like I said, you're just going the wealth. Might be 509, but hey, in literally at my current pace, I'll literally be able be, be able to buy infantry every two turns. Fighters doing what they need to, intercepting the French Air Force. Once again, I, I should probably move on up to Caden as like ground zero. A unit was killed. A unit has been spotted. Oh, I wonder who they can be. 
probably after I clear this and the complete opposite sense I'm gonna have to send forces down to North Africa instead of well to the Russian front I can probably send half like once these forces have cleared, I can keep a couple reserves and just send like a lot of my armor and stuff like that, especially my fresh units down here, kind of ship them across and help battle. Like I said, I only need to send a few to kind of gain supremacy. Also, I'm very surprised about all these like destroyers kind of kind of coming out of nowhere. I didn't know they had so many ships. They're still active. Oh my god, you're oh I'm gonna kill that tank before it lands. And with these guys over here, they're at least keeping them busy and they'll slowly drain them of health. Meanwhile, they are slowly pushing, and I don't exactly have a ton of men to keep holding the line. Nor can I res uh, deploy units here because of how the uh, whole deployment system is. So as long as those guys keep holding that, like Casablanca and stuff like that with my reserves, which thank God at least I ended around this time. I wish they had a little bit more health, but if I would have sent all those men back to France, Operation Torch happened, I would have, I would have lost North Africa. I, I absolutely would have lost this territory if it wasn't for my just slowness to take this take this region over. So, yay me and my inability to take over uh, captured territory. Okay, not really captured, but enemy territory. So, there's that. Meanwhile, at least with all the cities I've taken, all the resources I've gathered, at least I can get more supplies as well. So I can kind of keep just mass producing that those armor units so let's see how are we doing trade route established awesome more money for me speaking of which bombers 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 okay first off just hope take this oh wait can't even take that city i'll just bomb that unit over there if you don't mind let's just make sure that the the russian infantry can't even take over their last port into the black sea that would be wonderful That'll be grand, because at least as long as that's the case. Let's hold the high ground. You head back and help with this, all of this that I'm currently dealing with. Let's move my submarine down. Do a nice double attack. Move my other submarine over, and hopefully a nice double attack will finish it. Oh, thank God. Okay, now let's deal with that destroyer. That's a chaffy. That's a that's a full-fledged tank I no longer have to deal with. I am a happy man. <laughs> Hold for the time. Oh, I can move you over and finish off that destroyer. Or very close to take out this, that destroyer. Uh, let's take out that unit. Let's move over my ships and just keep bombarding all these units along the coast. Again. Not doing a whole lot, but at least it's doing something. Nothing in that region. Let's just keep hitting that. Let's uh, let's move my plane over to here because I feel like Algiers is about to fall. <laughs> but whatever the case, even if it falls, I should be relatively fine. Because I have more than enough forces to uh, take it back. Yeah, we're definitely cutting that unit off. At least we're losing, what, 2 HP per turn and decrease in defense power? So I can just keep picking them off, slowly but surely. Let's uh, build some infantry, if you don't mind, on power. Actually, hold on. Imperi, what do we have exactly? Nope, that's the only thing I can build. Awesome. Rome. War bonds. Awesome. But how much would it be if I get wealth? Okay, more money. Awesome. Cool. So that's a lot more funds I can use to buy stuff like this. Or I can purchase myself a new, brand new tank. Full power to just kind of overwhelm that infantry over there. And, uh, yeah, just start causing havoc. Meanwhile, where's my additional... Oh, there they are. Hello. Can you please get here? And let's see. Oh, we're beautiful. You're... I can have you push on up. 
Once again, I have ar I can kind of just weaken this infantry a little bit, have my armor push on both angles and surround it. And then just have my artillery. Ah, oh, so close. Actually, there we go. We got them dealt with. Meanwhile, we have the artillery, which can fire again, open fire on Reams, and just have infantry roll on up. Push them back. There we go. Reams is once again being captured. You're welcome. Let's take Mets as well. I'm kind of just like, can I kill that? I really want the answer to be yes. It's gone on the tracks. Now two cities have been dealt with. Let's try to deal with that armor. They're probably going to try to retake Reams, but they're going to take heavy casualties if they do. Oh, right. And we can have all these guys just open fire on all these units that are literally just out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, or, sorry, surrounded. Not really out in the middle of nowhere. Just completely surrounded, I should say. Um, we can move up the infantry to kind of reinforce that line. And prepare to kind of hit this major city. There we go. That unit's dealt with. Field gun opened fire. Armor unit. Let's clear that point. Satan is there. has been blockaded. I can start opening fire. And there we go. Hopefully no more... Uh, no, nothing else comes up on that point. Once again, I can pull you back to kind of assist with Operation Torch. Yeah, Operation Torch can really work if the entire Italian Navy is still active and kicking the British's butt back to pretty much Britain. It's like, yes, I'm pushing the British back to Britain. Essentially, that's what I've been doing this entire time. You know what? I am fine with that. Seven days. Oh, what? can do a little bit more. Beautiful. That unit's almost dead. We can kill that. I can quickly kind of push on up and hopefully relieve some pressure off Tyron. Maybe they won't die after all. Maybe not. But we'll probably have to figure that one out next episode at this rate. Oh, hello. There we go. We can push you back. And I can actually knock that sucker out. Push on forward. And there we go. Re pretty much we just have Soviet like reserves left in this region with some force mechanized attack in Tehran. But they won't last long. Oh, no. They will not last long. Let's see, what other cities do I need? So in France, I need what? Uh, I just need one more, and it's Dunkirk. All right, cool. Easy enough. It's only Dunkirk. How bad could it be? And someone shouts, No! Is it, like, hurry up and get there before they evacuate. No, trust me. I'm going to make sure that they all these forces don't evacuate. No way. Nuh-uh. Not happening. All right, this can hurt armor, so I can move that up. Infantry can continue the assault there. You hold. For the love of God, hold. Actually, switch spots if you don't mind. I feel, more, I, I feel better if you're in that region. I could push here, but there's nothing to reinforce it with. So. Oh, that... Oh, it's stuck because of the ice. Okay. I see how things are. Alrighty. There we go. City's about to capitulate next turn. And that city will pretty much be mine very soon. So it works for me. Rough defense. Let's see. What else? Oh, there we go. Get a Kursk again. But yeah, that should fall next turn. And then we can have our Air Force move in and just hammer the heck out of those tanks, which should die. And then I can just focus on the remaining infantry units in the sector. There we go. Now with those tanks gone, my infantry are free to just run amok. 
not have that open fire because that would be stupid to have a tank destroyer open fire on infantry. <laughs> Especially if it's so low. We can have our armor and infantry kind of move on up. Actually, th those tanks can fire, right? Cool. Just keep pushing them back, boys. Just keep pushing them back. Meanwhile, you guys take the hill. You guys continue to push up to the city. Just hold that region. And now we're, yeah, we pushed up to Poland and, um, and uh, Breslovsk. Meanwhile, we can try to break up that all that stuff right there. Honestly, there's not much they can really do. <laughs> They're pretty much on the same. They're, they're pretty much on the same reserve where they're like they have, the Germans are just enough where they can't penetrate, and I'm just coming up from behind from their weak underbelly. I remember that huge wall that they had right here pushing in. I slowly just come in and just chipped that wall from underneath and just cut the Soviet line in half. I'm just, as you can see, I'm literally just coming up from beneath, and they have nothing stopping me as all their forces funnel to Germany, and they just can't push. I'm the freak. I am Admiral Yi. During the goddamn Korean War, it's stopping the Japanese from taking all of Korea. Just like the, just cutting off their supply lines and just helping this battle just be a little longer. Which works out my, which works out for me. What needs more? Alright, so let's see. Nothing over here? Perfect. You just be on standby in case we do see some cargo ships moving your way. You just continue to hit that. Otherwise... We'll end this episode with pretty much France, only a couple major cities left. Four major cities, only four. Paris is now pretty much solidly under my control. I can send additional forces to deal with that. And over here, just splitting them up slowly but surely. God damn it. Okay, five. We'll take Reims next turn and break through there. But yes, I'm... Pr oh, and Brussels should hopefully be taken by the Germans. Come on, take Brussels. Knock out the Belgium. Please, the Belgians shouldn't be in this war in 1943. Come on, Germany. And they once oh okay they're close, but no cigar. They pull back to essence. They're like okay attack and retreat. God dang it. Whatever the case, I'm still advancing and still doing a heck of a lot of damage. Plus I have a lot of fresh troops along everywhere. Algier captured. Algier now allied with France. Okay, well we expected that. We fully expected that. Because once again, uh, how do I put this nicely? Uh, I did. I completely forgot about Operation Torch, and that's screwing me right now. But hopefully, shouldn't continue to screw me in the future. Plus, I'll just fall back to the lo defensive line, hopefully holding them back for the time being and allowing myself to win the day another time. But in any case, it's been Gray Shot One Seven. I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, and before I go, I want to give a special shout out once again to Joey, Ace, Sean, Sejones, Leonard, Lou, Nick, Levings, and Tim. Thank you all for your awesome support, and I'll see you guys next time.